Yeah, KGRO. Today I'm working on this 2004 on that Accord is a four cylinder. I'm replacing the oil pan. This oil pan is not an easy job to do, especially when you're not doing it without a lift. So, but I'm going to show you what I've done so far to do this job. It's not an easy job, it's a dog fight, elephant fight. You have to be ready for it. KGRO, let's go get it. Let me show you what I've done. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, KGRO, so this is the oil pan. That's the old one that I take off. This is the new one. So, I'm going to show you what I did to get this thing out. You know, probably it might help someone out there. This is not an easy job to do, like I said, but it's doable, KGR. See All the right. engine mount right there? This boat worn out. I was trying to like lose that so I can, you know, be able to lift up the engine mount easily, but the boat worn out, uh, the knot, I couldn't lose it. So I have to leave that alone. I came down here, see this guy right here? I took off that guy right there. See, I took off that guy right there, the 14 bolt, the 314 bolt. I did that. Then uh, I'm gonna go so underneath. Underneath here, right? I'll give you a little bit of explanation, but uh, you have to be mindful. Okay, you see that? I lose this most definitely right here. Let's see if I can. Because I'm trying to video on the other. All right, so you see this bowl right here? I took up that, see that? Break it loose, bring it down a little further down. And uh, I, put, I put something underneath there, see? I pry it down a little bit, put something underneath. Then on the other side, I did the same thing. And I break this guy loose right here. I didn't take it off all the way. Uh, if I can try to show everybody shake a video because I'm on that in the car. Uh, let's see where is this guy now? Uh, all right, see that guy right there? I break that loose. Then I came down here. I lose that. See that bad boy right there? Took that off. Then here's the thing that I did because it was kind of hard for me to to take it off because uh because the engine mount i couldn't lose it so there's no way i could lose that engine mount was rusted so there's a little tip that i did after i put a pry bar you see right here i put something down here you see that also so like kind of lower the frame you know but this is what i did after i bring it down the thing couldn't come out i just need a little bit of anything that i can get I'm not advising you to do this if you don't know what you're doing. Please, don't do that, okay? But if you do know what you're doing, you do it. So you see this 10 bolt right there on the flyway? I have to break this too loose. I'm going to put it back as soon as I get the air pan in. That little boat there, when I, when the thing was dropping, it was hanging onto that boat because the, the oil pan need to come straight to be able to come out. So that boat there, I take it off. As soon as I take it off, then this is the other thing that I did. I'm gonna show you also, you know. Sorry about the video. I'm just trying to do the best. See right that here? I, I put a pry bar on it, right here. I'm gonna show you. I would love to video everything, but I'm the one working, so there's no way I can do that. I put a pry bar there, I'm pried. Then I just have that enough room for the thing to come out. I did not lose the engine mount on the front or the rear. It was the side one that I lose. So now we're gonna clean it up and the material, please like and subscribe. KGR, be a part of the team, be a part of the family. All right, okay. KGR, as you can see, I put a, I'm using a gasket, you know, on the oil pan. I didn't just wanna use the, the, the seal alone, you know. So I'm using a gasket on it, so I'll be on the safer side. If you look at it, this job has been done before. This is not the first time. So this is the second time or whatever. But I just put that on it, so, you know, like if, for instance, you want to do the job in the future or take off that pan, 
it will be more easier to do it in so you can see i use the, the the gasket seal on it i rub it all all over on it right there so now we're gonna put the oil pan i'm sorry i won't be able to video that because i'm holding the camera with my hand but i'll bring you along as soon as the oil pan go in because it's gonna be a little dog fight there kg auto so kg auto as you can see the pan is in now see right there the pan is in like i said i didn't lose the engine mount I'm gonna, lie, I'm gonna tie it up and I'll show you exactly what I did to put the pan in. KGR, right man. So KGR, I just wanted to point out, you see on this side, right? The three bolts on this side, they're a, little, they're a little longer than the other one. So just be mindful of that. So what I did was, when I took it off, I put the three bolts on one side. This bolt right here, you're gonna see. Those three bolts, they're on this side. They're a little longer than that one. So just be mindful when you take it off, make sure the three bolts on this side, you put it aside. Okay, KGR, you can see the bottom plate is in right now. I had to take off this right here. You see this right here? I took that out. And once you do all of that, you just put a pry bar. Let me show you again how I get it in just put a pry bar here but i have to ask somebody to help me because i couldn't do it by myself this time but when i was taking it i was able to do it i have to ask somebody i put a pry bar here then i pried then the bottom plate just slipped in there kg auto we're doing it let's go get it you know just be mindful well you have to know what you're doing though so you don't forget it's for the flyway so I took it out, you know, anything that I can get, just a little inch, a little space, all of that, because like I said earlier on, I didn't lose the engine mount. So I was having more more difficulty, you know, to take off the pan. But this little guy here helped me a lot, taking it out. So you see the pan now, everything is in. So I'm just gonna tie all the 10 bolts all the timbers surrounding it I'm gonna tie everything then we'll go back down to match up the rest of the cage here yeah. yeah, as you can see the air pan is inside now everything is locked down i just want to point out something for every of you out there if you have this kind of uh, under accord or nissan anyone that has the same like this plate right here especially when you live in new york city I, I'm just giving you advice so you can keep yourself from accident waiting to happen in the long run. This thing, after years when you have your vehicle, that tend to be rust because of the snow and all of that. What you can do to keep it so that something can last for a very long time. Anytime your mechanic, maybe you ask your mechanic to change your oil or whatever you're changing the oil, ask them if the oil pan is rusted when it's rusted all you need to do is get anti-rust protection so you can rub it on it it will keep it from rusting fall down so you don't have to spend these hundreds of dollars replacing this because this is not an easy job to do you know so i just want to point that out if you do that it will save you a lot of money i'm telling you now just the bottom plates, anti-rust protection, you spray it on it, rub it on it, we keep it from rusting because once this thing rusts, the one that I'm changing, it rusted so the oil start dripping out. So just be mindful, all right? KG Euro, giving that heads up. Be right back, this place here is here, right? 14 booth. So this is the engine mount on the side. This one, that is the only thing that I took out on this job. This engine mount right there. That's the only one that I took out. I never take that out. The other one is just this alone. I was able to do the job, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some oil in the corner. I'm gonna 
put his back there, tired, tired. Ready to go. So on this side right here, this was the guy that I used. This guy was really helpful. See right there? He can bend the swivel head. You know, direction and in direction you want it to go. It was really helpful. Like guys, don't forget this tree, both on this side, they're the longer one. Okay? And uh, you can see my jack stand is still right there. See my jack right there, still on the floor there. Use it to jack up the engine. Uh, right by the transmission, it's still right there. I didn't take it off. So pretty much the job is completed, like I said before. All you need to do, this guy right here, you're gonna lose this guy right here. This guy right here, I lose that guy right there, slack it. So don't take off the whole boat now. Don't take off the whole thing. When you lose it, just lose it enough. Then when you pry it, you use a pry bar to, to pry down, then you put something on it right there, like to hold it down the same way I did on the other side. Because this thing, every little piece of inch of space, you need it. It will help you to get that thing out, you know, when, they, when, when, you, when you're doing this kind of job. You know, so KG Auto, we're gonna put the oil in now and we're about to start a car. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So as you can see, I just started the car. The car running right now. So I'm gonna go underneath. Let's see how I go for a little while. I'll go underneath and make sure there's no leak on the car. I'm gonna show you the gas that I that I use, I'm always wrong. I use for the other time. All right, so we're gonna go on down here, guys, and make sure we don't have no leak. All right. The car right now. See the oil pan. Everything is looking beautiful. Looking good. Up the tire, boy. You don't even have to take off the tire. 